Hi, it's James from Totally Wild UK here, and we're taking a look at something very obscure here. Sometimes you'll come across little things in the woodlands, they're mushrooms, that look like little alien eggs. And quite often, we'll go through the woods here and we'll find up to 20 of these, and it just looks like aliens have laid little eggs in the woodland. But it's actually a mushroom, it's down here, they're called witch's eggs. They're called witch's eyes, they're called stink horns. They've got a couple of different names, but to look at in the very young stage, they just look like this on the floor. So a little white egg just popping out of the ground. When we look at it a little bit closer and feel it, it feels jelly-like in texture. And then when we go to pull it up, we'll notice that when we pull it out the ground, we get this thread, this mycelial thread that connects it to the rest of the mushroom. Now that's really quite important as well. And this is what makes it look like a witch's eye. So when I cut it across the top, that it has a resemblance of an eye in the centre here. So we've got the jelly layer on the outside, and then we've got the sporulating layer here, which is brown, and then inside that'll eventually become the stem when it grows. It's called phallus impidus which means shamelessly phallic. And when it does grow, and I'll show you a video of that, it does look shamelessly phallic. At this stage, however, we're a witch's eye or a witch's egg. Um, interestingly, the mushroom actually is edible. Um, the part that we eat is this very central part. So if we cut that out here, you'd cut the middle out and you'd be eating this white section in the middle. You can access it by cutting the mushroom the other way, but it just doesn't look like an eye. So we cut that out and that's the part we're eating. Interestingly, that flavor is, has a, like a, a cauliflower-ish texture, but has like a mild radish flavour, which, um, yeah, which we really wouldn't expect from a mushroom. Yeah, so it's that very centre. And what happens is these will lie on the floor, as little eggs, and then when the biosphere it, right here, or when the atmosphere right here is just right, it's happy, it's warm, it's got enough moisture, it'll decide that it's then time to shoot into a mushroom. And it's currently got everything in that egg that it requires to grow into a full mushroom. And it's just a case of literally turning the switch on. Um, the way I always think of describing it is it's like having um, a mattress all rolled up and really tight. And then if this is the mattress down here, when it's ready, you cut the mattress open, just like you do at home. And it suddenly it goes and expands into a full mattress. And you think, how on earth did that fit in that little thing? Yeah, so when this is ready, it's like the mattress opens the stem shoots up and becomes about this size. It has the appearance of polystyrene at that point. And then this brown section goes on the very cap, which makes it look phallic. Um, and it stinks, so that's the name, why it gets the name stink horn. So it looks like a horn coming out of the ground. And then it gets, um, yeah, this brown black mess on top. And the flies absolutely love it. So flies will come, they will land on the cap of this. They'll cover themselves in spores and they'll fly off and spread this mushroom around that way. Once it gets to its mushroom size, so once it pops and it's out here, it's edible still, but we don't really advise eating it just because the smell is just so, so strong. I've never personally actually eaten the stem of it. I wonder whether if you cut the cap away and took the stem somewhere else so you couldn't smell it, whether that would still taste like radish. It could possibly do. And um, the bit I like to eat is when it's young and it's in its closed egg shape form. I cut the centre out, and that's the part I'll be eating. I've always wondered if there's more you could do with this, especially at this young stage. So when it's really young, it wouldn't have this brown outer side. And I wonder whether there's something we could test at this point to make it edible. So could we like inject flavour into the gel and then cover it in breadcrumbs and deep fry it and try and make a weird version of a mushroom radish scotch egg out of it or something. I'm sure there's plenty of playful ways we could work with it. Or could we skewer the gel out and use that for something? I'm absolutely certain we could, but I've just not tested those recipes yet. But if anyone does, it'd be really interesting to know uh, and it'd be really interesting to find out. If we think of some mushrooms you could potentially confuse this one with, there's a couple of mushrooms that grow in an egg shape on the floor. To start with, the most dangerous one are the Amanitas, and they're to be very wary of, things like flower agaric, things like death caps, destroying angels. These are the kind of mushrooms that would actually kill you. But they don't have this jelly-like outside, or this brown edge, and actually if you were to cut one of the Amanitas in half, it would look like a tiny mushroom that's been curled up. Whereas this one looks like a very 
spongy inside, a brown outside, and this gel on the outside. And actually, if you were to pull up an Amanita, um, it wouldn't have this thread, this really strong thread attached to it. The next one we could potentially confuse it with is another one we wouldn't be eating. So that one's called an earth ball. If this was an earth ball, it'd be a firm white mushroom on the floor. If we were to pull it up, it wouldn't have a single thread, but it would pull a little mound of mud with it. Um, and then if we were to cut it open, when it's really young, it would be white throughout, but very quickly it would turn black and look like black marble. That one has quite tough skin. We call it like a pig-like skin texture to it. And that's something we want to avoid. Um, although there is some reference of earth balls having been eaten um, in some countries, but it's just not advised to be eaten in the UK. Some people might react different than others. And then the last one, which is an edible, we don't want to confuse this with, is puffballs, any of the puffballs. So puffballs grow in little white balls like this on the floor. Sometimes they can be quite large if it's a giant puffball. If we cut that open, that should be white throughout, soft, spongy, um, very thin outer skin. And also if we were to pull it, it wouldn't have this thread that comes up with it. Um, for a puffball, uh, at, at the point once you come to cut a puffball and it's starting to go slightly brown like the cap of this one, it's way too far past eating at that point. It's nothing, nothing good out of it anymore. So we only want to get puffballs when they're white in the middle. So next time you're in the woods and you find some little white mushrooms on the floor, it's worth cutting one open and just seeing if you've got a witch's egg.